taking the place of regular kidney function um so i work in i'm gonna sit up hold on sorry i'm sitting in my bed because my phone is charging so i work in an in-center hemo well i work in an in-center dialysis facility i work in um hemo dialysis which for all my nurses out there y'all already know what hemodialysis is. Hemodialysis is the, is the process of getting dialysis through your blood. So, um, 
I'm going to insert. I went online and downloaded um, pictures of Dallas's machines, and I'm going to go online and I'm going to download um, the pictures of the lines and the dialyzer. So in this video, you hear me talk about a dialyzer. A dialyzer is a long tube that has microfiber. Um, I really don't know how to explain it, but it's like strands on the inside. Um, there are, put it like this. I'm not going to really use the technical terms, but they make it to where when the blood passes, um, when the blood goes down, and what they call dialysate, which is a mixture of bicarb and acids. They, one flows down and one flows up in the dialyzer. They never meet. And pretty much, like I said, I wasn't going to get too far into detail because unless you really work in dialysis, some of this stuff is like, what, huh, what? So anyway, so pretty much your blood, the blood and the solution that helps pull the waste and stuff out of the blood. They never mix. Um, they go inside that the dialyzer. Your blood is going down. The fluid is going up. And there's a filter in, in the middle that separates it. And this pulling is only so big to where only certain things can flow through. Like, they're not going to be pulling out all your red blood cells. They're going to... It's only so big to where, like, waste and different... The bad stuff can get through. And it goes and it goes into the filter and it goes over with the, the solution. Like I said, I'm going to be inserting, um, I might insert a clip of what I'm talking about. And I may insert just pictures about what I'm talking about. So it kind of make, I wanted to make sense to y'all. Because like I said, a few people have been asking me this week, well, what do you do? Like, where do you work? Like, what do you do? Um, but yeah, so that really is the process of dialysis. Um, you might have a patient that comes in, um, three times a week because they need their blood clean. So we're cleaning the blood and we're, we are removing toxic waste and, um, fluids and stuff like that from the blood. Um, because your kidneys... They pretty much filter out all of the bad stuff in your urine. So some, and I'm going to say this, some patients don't make any urine. And for my kids out there, it's pee. Okay? Got, got to make you kid friendly. Um, Some people have mouth to like maybe like a little bit of urine that they can still process. Or produce, should I say. And some people don't produce any urine at all. So those are the people that you have. Definitely come in three times a week. They might be on the machine between three and four or five hours. Or maybe six hours depending on certain facilities. Um, What else can I say? So I'll, I'm going to just go over like what I do in a day. I'll come in. I'll see what area I'm in. Um, nine times out of ten, I don't come in open. Um, the machines are already set up. All the stuff is there. I just prep my area. A patient comes in, you clean off their arm. Um, they'll wash their arm. You clean it off with alcohol and betadine, which is also pro not peroxide, but it's um, what is it? Iodine. You sanitize the area, you put the needles in, and their blood circulates through the machine. And they, like I said, they may stay on two, three, four, five hours maybe. And in that process, you also have to make sure that you're monitoring the blood pressure because their blood is outside of their body. Um, for my people who are on dialysis... I don't know if anybody will watch this who are on dialysis or who knows somebody who's on dialysis. Dialysis does a lot to your body. And in Mama Bree's case, I'm not going to speak for her because I don't know her. Never met her. Don't want to come off as disrespectful. Don't want to say anything that I'm not supposed to. I admire her. The I'm just going to talk about the 
the I can't really speak too much on PD, aka peritoneal dialysis, which is what she's on, because I'm not trained in peritoneal dialysis. I am trained only in in center. I'm slightly trained in acute because I've treated probably two or three acute patients. But my certification is strictly in in center hemodialysis. But what I've heard about the um the dialysis that she's on, they always tell us that it's it's a lot better. Um it takes a less of effect on your body. It's 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 not as hard on your body, I would say. Um, I don't know if that's true because I don't really I've never I don't know anybody who's on dialysis who was on perineal dialysis. We had one patient from my home clinic that ended up going to PD. I don't know if she liked it. I don't know what happened. I never seen her. I never saw her again. So I would say for her, I'm just giving my opinion. I would say since she's still young, she still works. You know, like she said, I'm only gonna say what she said in a live video. Um, and I'll try my best to link that live video. I'm gonna try my best to link that video in this in the description of this video. Um like she was saying, she has a catheter in her stomach, and like I was just my opinion on her being on PD, I feel like since she's still young. Um, she still works. She takes care of herself. She can take care of herself. So I feel like PD is definitely better for her. It's definitely different. Um, I feel like from what I've heard from my, um, sorry, I had something on my lip. I feel like from what I've heard from different people, PD is definitely better for people who who can handle it. You have home dialysis where they actually have the machine. I'm not sure how home dialysis works. I'm just gonna get back on topic. I'm gonna stick with what I what I know because I don't want to say nothing wrong. I don't want nobody in the comments like, "Oh, bitch, you know you're wrong." But yes. So to sum it up. I am a CCHT. You start off as a PCT, which is still the same thing. One, the only difference is, sorry, it's on my lip. The only difference is one person has less than a year experience and you are not certified. And the other person has over a year of experience and you are certified. Sorry, my lip's feeling. I'm up here in this, in this cold weather. Anyway, but yeah, like I was saying, um, one difference is one has a, a year or less. Get my drink. One person has a year or less of experience, and the other person has a year or more of experience. I am a CCHT. Um, we still do the same job as a PCT. We're just certified. I have just recently reached my two-year mark, um, my two-year anniversary of doing dialysis was October 10th, 2018, congratulations to me, yes, yes, um, I started dialysis, I started working in dialysis October 10th, 2016, scariest time of my life, I swear. Dialysis is definitely not a job for everybody. Sorry. Give a part. But yeah. Dialysis is definitely not a job for everybody. It's definitely a job where if you start it and you think that you want to go and try to work something else for a bit, you want to take a break from dialysis, it's definitely hard to come back. Because dialysis is definitely a job where, like, if you don't use it, you definitely will lose it. So, um, I've been working in dialysis, like I said, pretty much off and on for, like, the past two years. Like, I started it. It's something that stuck. And I'm just like, I, I enjoy taking care of people. I enjoy being there for people. I enjoy I definitely... One of my... One of my favorite parts of my job 
is conversing with older people. I'm just like my mother. Um, it's something about having a conversation with somebody who's like twice your age. Like, I'm talking about people in their 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. Even some people in their 90s. I've seen a couple patients who are like 95, 96 at my home clinic. Um, it was a lady and she was like 97. Still kicking, still holding on. You know, they have their ups, they have their downs, they have their good days, they have their bad days, just like everybody else. Um, if you see a person and they're on dialysis, huh, the strongest people go through the hardest stuff. That's all I'm going to say. Because me personally, I don't think I could work. I, I don't think I could be on dialysis. I've seen a lot. That's all I'm going to say. I've seen the good. I've seen the good. I've seen people get called for kidneys. I've seen people get trans, you know, transplants. I've seen people's kidney function come back to where they don't have to do dialysis or they only have to do it twice a week or once a week. Um, I've seen it bad. I've seen people lose their battle with kidney disease, you know. I've seen people... Um, yeah, I've, just, I've seen people just give up. I've seen people lose their battle. You know, dialysis is definitely, like I said, dialysis is not for everybody. And that goes for people working in dialysis. And that also goes for people on dialysis. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this little story time video of me just kind of giving a synopsis, I guess, a summary about what I do. Um, what dialysis is. I didn't really want to touch too much on it because like I said, I've only been doing dialysis for two years. I didn't want to say something and then it not be factual. And I didn't want to speak on it, speak on something that I wasn't 100% sure about. So I'm just, you know, basically saying what I know from my training because, you know, you learn something new every single day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe. Please turn on your post notifications so you won't miss a upload from your girl. I'm about to edit this video and get it up for you guys tonight. And then I have to go to bed because your girl got to go to work in the morning. Okay. I got to go to work 530 in the morning. Um, also make sure you guys follow my social medias. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. My, my name on Instagram is Kwame, uh, Kwame Doll Empire. Same thing that this channel used to be called. It's called Kwame Doll Empire. Make sure you leave suggestions in the comment section below. Make sure you tag or let, um, Prissy P or Mama Bree know that I made this video. Send them my love. Um, also, make sure y'all leave um, comments. You know, I need... Make sure y'all... What I'm trying to say is make sure y'all leave me some suggestions in the comments below. Okay? Let me know what type of videos I should make. Let me know what type of videos, what type of challenges, food challenges, moot balls, what y'all want me to try. Let me know what type of videos y'all want to see from me. Alright? But like I said, make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe. Turn on your post notifications to be notified when I make another video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.